Today, it's going to be my Simplicity 1970s Vintage Mug. Oh yeah, let's do it. There goes the steam. Hello everyone, welcome to So Lovely with Grace. If you're new here, I'm Grace. If you're returning, welcome back. Welcome back everybody to this Simplicity 1970s fashion mug that I have here. I absolutely love it. I was in the mood for this mug this morning because I'm wearing this top. Look at this fabric. Isn't it groovy? Does it remind you of the 70s? This 1970s mug. Just the style, the colors. And the color on this top is a peach, which is the 2024 color of the year for fashion. Mm. Yeah, so today I'm going to be talking to you about my sewing plans. What have I been doing? Three pieces of fabric I bought. And I didn't know. I did get a lot of patterns, the new look, the butterick. I didn't know if you wanted to see a haul or not for that, but for this video, I'm just going to talk about sewing plans, the fabric I got, and this top going forward. So the first project I'm excited about is making dresses with Annabelle. We're going to be twins, not with the same pattern, but the same fabric. Look at this beautiful, tropical, it's like an ITY brush double knit. I can't tell because it's so soft like a cotton, but then it's like an ITY knit has this great stretch and uh, I'm going to be making a dress for her. Actually, I finished her dress. It's this pattern. It's new look 6478. Yeah, uh, what the model's wearing. It has ties in the back and then it has this flounce edge bottom that I made. I finished her dress. Let me show it to you here. There are the ties. It has some top stitching here in the front. Um, and this elastic in the back, elastic casing. It has a facing in the bust area. And it's so simple and straightforward, front and back, and then this flounce. Now the flounce, I finished the edge like on my serger, a rolled hem, a lettuce edge. Do you see that, how it crinkles a little? Gives it a little more frilliness. Uh, just just adorable. She's going to love it. Um, so this is the dress I made and I'm making the same fabric but a different pattern. I'm making a dress for me to match with her and this is View A New Look 6210 View A with the racer back and the side slit. I'm excited about that. I have all the pieces cut up. I just got to sew it up. Um, and I might be doing a solo on for that. I'm supposed to be. But last year when I made Annabelle's dress the first time, I got this fabric at Hobby Lobby. I think they still have it. It's a rib knit with strawberries, and I have a lot of it here left. Um, so I made the dress for her in a smaller size. I think last year was a size 4. This year I'm going to make a size 5, and I added a couple more inches to the dress. So she'll be getting that this week in the mail. And I'm going to be making mine. The next dress I'm excited to make is this new look 6650. The one that the model's wearing with the tie front, the cap sleeves, the side slit. I love the length. It's perfect for this fabric I got at Joann's. This is a double brush knit poly. And um, it's so stretchy and just beautiful. The colors, there's like cream like a camel, brown, tan, vanilla. It's an abstract floral. It's absolutely beautiful. 
And I'm excited to make that dress with this fabric. So you'll be seeing that soon. And what else? So yeah, oh, and my dress, my new look dress that I'm matching Annabelle, I already cut up all the pieces. This is the front. Is this, yeah, this is the front I cut up. But I have all the pieces in a bag cut up because I don't sew and cut the same day. Not generally. Sometimes I'll do, but not always. So that's what I got going on. Now this top that I'm wearing, I made a video a couple weeks ago with this new look pattern. And uh, where is it now? Hmm, here it is. 6415. The sleeveless one here. It's a uh, view seat, asymmetrical, has a front and a back, has a neck band, and then the armhole bands. This one took less time. Of course, I made it once before. Uh, when did I start? Like 1 o'clock and I was done by 4. And it took 3 hours. It's a great pattern. I highly recommend it. Definitely get this pattern if you can for 99 cents. I actually bought another one because I wanted a backup one because I know I'm going to be making this again. And I want to make view D. I like that in the front there. I think that's kind of cool and dramatic. And maybe the other one's in the winter. But now I'm going to go outside and model this top for you. I'm wearing this today because we're going to go out to lunch. Tom and I were going to the Inn on the Gulf at Hudson Beach. I'm looking forward to it because the rave is all their seafood. Okay, so let me model this for you now. It's another gorgeous sunny day here where I live. And I'm wearing these vintage sunglasses that I love. These cat's eyes. Perfect with this fabric. This fabric I got at the Expo in 2023 at the Sewing Studio booth. Look at this. So, I just love the fabric and the pattern. This is another ITY knit. I made this top previously in the ITY knit. It's appropriate for this pattern, absolutely. And, uh, I'll model for you here. I'm wearing these blush jeggings. They're like a blush, blush peach rose jeggings. I got them at Walmart. It's a great fabric, great top. I love this. That's why I made it again. And I'm wearing it again to lunch with Tom. I'm going to insert photos at when I edit this of our lunch. So, hope you like the top. If you can pick up this pattern, New Look 6415, at the Hobby Lobby sale, 99 cents, do it. It's amazing. The, especially if you're a beginner and you want to put out something really exciting. I love this design. I love the asymmetrical look. I think it's very slimming and attractive. Dress it up, dress it down, grab the pattern. It's great. Front, back, neck band, armhole bands, bingo, you're done. So now, while I was at Hobby Lobby, of course, I had to pick up new look patterns, but I'm not going to show you those now. I also had to pick up fabric. They had a 40% off sale. So I picked up three uh, pieces here I'm going to show you. The first piece is this rib knit, daisy rib knit, that I'm thinking for Annabelle again, make her another dress. Might be the same pattern, might be a different pattern, but I just think it's so pretty. It's just beautiful. It has these daisies with the pink center, reddish pink, green leaves, white uh, daisies on this beautiful yellow rib knit fabric. And I got two yards of that. So that was a good buy. This next fabric, I just love it. It's like a waffle knit, and I got four yards of it. It's, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And it's so soft. And I was thinking of making that Simplicity Loungewear 9857. I went to two Joann's and I could not find that pattern. It's a new pattern. But somehow, Creativity by T and Martika from Martika J Makes, they did a collab on that pattern, and they made that cardigan and pants loungewear set. That's what I want to make with this. If I can get a hold of that pattern, which I will soon, um, I just want to, that's why I picked up four yards at 40% off. Definitely going to make that set with this. That's the plan. 
And then finally, Tom saw this fabric. Oop, fell on the ground here. He saw this and he liked it. And, and uh, he suggested it to me. It's like a velvet, stretch velvet knit. I'm into these knits now. Look at this. Look at the stretch on this. And look at the pretty colors of the flowers. You got all kinds of colors in here. Pinks and raspberries and purples and green and brown with a black dramatic background. You know, I'm thinking of a dress. I'm thinking of a simplicity dress in mine. I'm not exactly sure the number, but if I remember it, I will put it here in the video. But yeah, there's uh, also a new look dress I'm thinking of too. So I'm not sure about it, but it's on sale and I've never seen it before, so I had to pick it up. But yeah, those are the fabrics I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Those are just some of the plans I have. I'm also reorganizing my fabric, cleaning my sewing room, and getting all the new patterns that I bought logged into my sewing pattern phone app, which takes time. Um, just keep them busy all the time. So I hope I showed you some cool ideas with patterns, matching patterns to fabric. I hope you take advantage of all the sales. I will be posting them in my community tab as I become aware of them. So keep checking there, um, whether you participate or not in the sale, which I'm going to hold off for a little while. I will keep posting them for people that are interested. So there, I hope you found this video informative, fun, and most of all, inspiring.